30 seconds until minions spawn. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. We got some wild level 1 moments coming right your way. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's hop right back in with composites with a quick juke into the pit so you can find an angle for the 4 man rupture. This is why you don't pre level, by the way. Akshan sees Kled dropping low, so it's time for some Spider Man swing and reset action. Wingman is in the enemy tribe bush with some proactive cheese. He's got the W unlocked for the auto reset and some more hemorrhage stacks plus the slow. Now he's ghosted up with the bonus 30 AD and this is the last guy you want to be messing with in a level 1. The fight should end here, but Anivia really threw out the cringe in chat and hit him with the super aggressive recall. Hey, but there's nothing wrong with the little ARAM clown fiesta. Next up, keep your eye on Caitlyn. She's already got range for days, but throw the fully stacked lethal tempo on top of that, and this DPS really adds up. Or is he gonna start bot side? We will see. 
Maybe we're gonna get a late invade here from G2. I mean, Jace is very strong in the late invades, and maybe they know Adam's here. And Yankos quite easily could step forward here. Adam might have to burn the flash. Hammer coming out. Flash in for Broken Blade. Counter flash yes, from Adam. Conqueror. Range. One more. This is a massive build diff by Broken Blade. Longsword 3 versus Doran's N1. Pot favors BB heavily in these fights, but he also capitalizes on Adam's indecisiveness here. Because Poppy is around the corner, Adam doesn't quite want to commit to the fight, which gives Broken Blade time to chug that pot down and get another form switch to reduce Adam's armor and Amara one more time. This oh. wave, ranged form once again will force it's, Adam. He's got no pot. It's a horror. Him. It's an absolute oh, horror. He's getting, oh my god, it's an absolute disaster in the top lane. Doran on Sorda. Hi, hi. Come on, come on. It's triple kill. I'm going No! What the kill fuck? What the kill fuck? I'm going to look. Any gun? Going. Maybe you going? No, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I'm not. You have place here? Yeah, you're good. He's gonna kill you. Okay, we win. Nice. I cannot believe Buzz would take that tongue lash from behind Afro Moo. Okay, next up, Braum is stupidly powerful in level 1 fights. Teehee on Twitch is run and press the attack, which synergizes so well with the marks, and now watch how he spams that ambush reset for all that bonus attack speed. He spaced badly, yo, the pros are insane. One misstep equals death. Next up in these level 1 fights, you gotta be decisive, and Mr. Slenderman doesn't hesitate for a second. I do a little bit of cheesing. Oh! Yo!
Okay, at a certain point you just gotta stop wasting mana and go back to CSing, right? Well, I think Silas's name may have triggered Karthus's ego. Next up, I thought this Teemo was 9 million IQ for a second, hiding just in range of the Tower of Vision so he could maybe, like, fake his presence and walk out at the last second, like a fake recall or something. But, no, that health bar on the right is definitely falling. He should be dead on the grips. I took a few. You just keep attacking grids. I have to block. I use US block. Let's skill this. Guy. I, I see I got I my stuff. Volley, 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 volley. Ah! Oh. I got him. I got him. He even got amazing vitals RNG, but Irelia's level 1 is just too strong, I guess. Next up, Bjergsen and friends miscommunicate here, so they end up losing this initial trade. However, it is level 1, so the respawn timers are low, and the red team is more than overstaying their welcome. So once the comms clean up, this fight starts looking a lot brighter. Oh. Ruh-roh. Right, right. Q and 4. Wait, they're kind of trolling here. Yeah, I'm on the way back. Gene has no flash. Look at Ivory. Yeah, I'm coming. I have Sun and 3. I think we win this Come Camille. On. Just, just pretend like we're yeah. racking up. Okay. Come, come on the other. Come on the other. The other is not flash. Okay. Okay. Up here. I be in ten. I get Jin. Jin. My God, guys. Okay. It's a, <laughs> it's an it's absolute... a four. It's a four for four. Want to see how fast a level 1 flips? Set wins this initial trade pretty hard, but after the facebreaker combo, he takes a few too many hits from the minions and he's still pretty close range, which gets him hit by Q3. Now watch this, he punches this melee creep once, gets Q'd for it, goes to CS this caster, and those two decisions turned it from a winning trade to death. Next up, if any of y'all know what the heck happened here, let me know in the comments down below, cause I'm real confused. So, All right, get uh, ready for a roller coaster of emotions and a whole nother fiesta. This is like a three-act story starting off with a decent initial trade from the red team.
Here's where it turns around though, Nocturne's coming back with full health and Garen is on the flank with Teleport. Echo is not about to run across the map to help again and watch Camille. She said, screw this, I'm out, time to go catch my wave, which means now it's a 5v3. Here's where that earlier decision from Camille bears fruit though. She's still real low health, low enough for Soraka's super speed ambulance passive to activate, and she's the only person so far to get any EXP from waves, which gives her a massive advantage in this now 2v2. Thank you so much for watching, that is going to do it for today's episode all on level 1 moments. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, remember to drop that like and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and have yourself a wonderful day.